Welcome, welcome, welcome to this video. Okay, so I talked to you about how to get a job when you're in retirement. Obviously, you're in retirement right now, or you're nearing retirement, or you're thinking about it, and you're not sure if you have enough money to go over and, and do everything. You want to, you would like to create a legacy. You'd like to do something awesome, and you're not really sure what it is, and you really don't know, okay, it's, it's 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 40 years from now, I'm going to retire. How much am I going to have? What's it going to be like? What are the things I can do now to really help myself before I retire and, and get those Social Security? Now, obviously, I'm talking about a person that's retiring based on age, not an income, because there is a difference, by the way. It's a mindset. So all the information I have here, I've pulled from the Social Security, so ssa.gov website. You, too, can go to it, ssa.gov, and research yourself. They have Social Security calendars, I mean, uh, retirement estimators, excuse me. And they have different, um, they have a blog, they have a YouTube channel, they have a Twitter, all of that. Just like, you know, everybody, Social Security, they're in the, uh, the now, the new technology, if you will. Okay, so, if it's 2020, the, so there's like, this is like the, the average, right? The average person makes $1,456 a month on Social Security benefits. That's from the government, right? And that money is expected to increase 2021 and then 2022. Now, this is based on my research. Uh, the Social Security Board of Trustees, they're showing a, a decrease in the amount of budget money budgeted to this in 2022. So based on my research, I've calculated the percentage they're going to decrease or the, you know, the down increase basically so right now it's an increase of like 1.6 percent and next year it'll be like an increase of probably 1.6 percent as well 2022 it's going to be a only an increase of 1.4 or, or a decrease of 0.02 percent subsequently 2023 it's going to be 0.007 or 0.07 percent increase and then 0.05 0.03 and my numbers show that that number levels off. There's no other data after 2026, so that's why you don't see any uh, information here. So the amount of people that are going to be over 65 right now in 2021 or 2020, but is about uh, 56 million people. The amount of people 2025, the amount of people that are over 65 is going to be about 67 million. Then in 2030. The amount of people that are going to be over 65 or 73 million. This is good. This is a market for this. This means people that are over 65, there's more of them. So I, I see this as a trend of it having a business or something that they can do. Maybe they can start a, be on social media, Twitter maybe around then, I'm sure. Uh, Teachable will probably be around, Udemy will probably be around. And just you know, for anybody listening to this, watching this video I should say if you make say eighteen thousand dollars that's what it is right now what you're allowed to make without the government uh, taking anything back so basically how it works is this and as of 2020 if you make eighteen thousand two hundred forty dollars per year that's good if you make over that money per year let's say you make fifty thousand dollars for 2020 and if for every two dollars you make over the eighteen thousand two hundred forty dollars of Social Security coming in, basically, they take two dollars, or I'm sorry, they take one dollar. So that would mean your, so that would mean uh, thirty-one thousand seven hundred sixty dollars over the eighteen thousand. So so I just took the math. I said fifty thousand less eighteen thousand two hundred forty dollars, which I'm left for with thirty-one thousand seven hundred sixty dollars. Which leaves me, um, if I divide it by two, that means the government, the Social Security office basically, they're going to take or, yeah, they're going to take or at the end of the year you're going to have to pay either way, $15,880.00. So that would mean of your retirement benefits, you would actually only collect $2,360 basically. Now mind you, if you made $200,000 a year, I don't think you would care about $18,000. You're like, okay, whatever, right? 
and he would probably not bother with it. He probably wouldn't retire, actually. He probably wouldn't start the retirement. This is one of those cases where it's retiring based on money, not based on age. So having said that, what are some of the expenses you can you can downgrade to prepare yourself for this in the next, you know, 40 years or whatever, how long you retire in or whatever? Well, start with your mobile internet, mobile telephone. Usually it's about 100 bucks a month. Can you go lower than that, right? Miscellaneous, 100 bucks a month. Can you go lower than that? Well, what about creating something? Creating income, sub passive income, so that you don't have to worry about decreasing your expenses. You can just increase them, basically. You just have to create uh, another stream of revenue. So on Teachable, I have a course on Teachable. And I have a course on Udemy. Now, if you have a good course on there, now, probably you can make probably, let's say, $100 a month on Teachable. You could probably make $100 a month on Udemy based on the course. How do you create a course? If you're in IT like me, I use a company called Joe's Data Center. And I pay about $30 a month or more for a environment, like a server environment. And I pay uh, $60 a year for Wondershare, which is a recording software. That's I'm actually recording this video right now using that. Both of those are come and play when I'm creating these this content basically. And and obviously, you know, it's you're starting off at zero, you're starting off at no you know nothing and you're just growing and continuing to grow. And over time it just collectively what is the word they use? It's called uh, momentum. So you create like momentum when you when you do these type of things. There's also an app called Anchor, which allows you to create your own podcast. I've created videos on YouTube for both of these, and I'll link them in the show notes. I'm sorry, not the two videos, but the After 50 and the podcast, and I'll link them in the show notes. I just started doing this. I figured, well, I'm trying to figure out, you know, do I need enough money? You know, I retire however many, 40, whatever years uh, from now. Do I have enough income? Do I have enough? What can I do now to start at the process so that I'm not waiting like, oh man, I need to do this quick hurry, right? And I have to have a job or a job. And not everybody's the same. Not everybody has the the skills or really the want to to take to do this. I mean, it's really easy to just say, okay, hey, I work a nine to five job. I worked there 30 years or whatever and let them figure it out, right? And that after that, you're good. And you just do whatever it is you want to do in retirement. Maybe you want to spend time with your grandkids or kids. Maybe you want to create something, uh, create a program, create a, a company, travel. You want to do nothing. You just want to like sit down and just you, you learn or get another skill, learn to play the guitar, figure stuff out. Just like spend that time that you didn't have in the 30 years basically because you're just doing a J just over broke job that you want to just figure stuff out now hey I just want to learn this I wanted to do that when I was a kid now I have time to do it because I'm not doing anything else so as I said the two courses that I have one is on teachable get a job in it dot teachable dot com and it's learn backup and restore with Commvault and get a high paying job how to go from zero to hero and get an entry level job in IT. Of course, the other course I have is on Udemy. Same title, same name. Uh, Gary, just search me and Gary McNeely in the search thing, right? Or just search Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault and get a high paying job. And as always, if you wouldn't mind, hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the video, push on the bell, you know, the notification on when a new video happens, I'd really appreciate it. So thanks everybody uh, have, for viewing this video and have a great day.